what was authorized today allowed us to make an application for the uh, the uh, cops hiring grant mm -hmm. which we are asking for two additional officers and if approved and accepted by the city we would add two more officers to the DBAC area which you know that's the downtown business and arts center um, as we come to to focus on the development that's coming as we focus on any crimes in this area but also individuals that are going through crisis whether it's drugs whether it's homelessness what can we do to help lift them up and get them to a place that, that makes them more comfortable and also gets them the assistance they need. Right, and I read a little bit more in this uh, in the in the packet. Mm -hmm. It said it includes education, prevention, interve in interventions related to the abuse of o opioids mm -hmm. and other substances in the community. So can you kind of elaborate more on that and why that's needed? You know, as we as we were, we were working in the downtown area, we know individuals go through drug issues and often associated with opioids or, or things that are that are that are help them keep them homeless, help them keep them in a situation that exposes them to crime, but also possibly makes them commit crimes also. Anything we can do there to possibly help them, get them to the resources they need, get them to the rehab they need, we're gonna work on that as we work on, on, the, on improving this downtown area. Oh, has there been an increase in this uh, problem in downtown lately? I think a big part of it is, you know, a lot of our resources for dealing with, with homeless um, individuals in, or in whether you talk about the Salvation Army, whether you talk about the Gateway of Hope, whether you talk about the, the churches that are downtown that are providing food and resources, there's an accumulation of individuals that are here and this is the primary area that we can make that contact. Mm, got it. How much is this grant? You know, over the course of the of the, the three years, the city would receive about $250,000 if, if approved. Yes, sir. Um, and I know the Tyler Police Department applied for this grant in the past, 2010, mm. and then again this time around. Um, I guess, yeah, why, why again? You know, it's just, a lot of it is just as we get ready to grow, as we get ready to make that next step. Um, these will be supplemented by, by funding that's possibly available through the TERS that you saw today as, as those tax increment dollars come in. Um, but I think it's just really based on need. When we're ready to take that next step based on budgets, when we're ready to take that next step based on need. Mm -hmm. And you also said growth because I know, you mm -hmm. know, in the upcoming few months and few years, we're going to be uh, expanding this downtown area in the courthouse. So would you say that's also a reason as to why? Oh, absolutely. You know, as you see not only the courthouse going in, the downtown redevelopment, the redevelopment of, of structures that go towards housing, apartment complexes downtown, as individuals become more compressed and you see that population numbers go up, we'll add additional officers here to, to make sure we can do to move forward with addressing their needs. Mm -hmm. And I know um, I've done a few stories with you guys about mm -hmm. uh, the shortage. Mm -hmm. Is that still a problem amongst you guys? Um, in, yeah, we'll leave it at that. I think it's a national crisis that's going on. We've been very fortunate here as so we've stayed on it. And right now, I think we are. We gave our test last week, and we're looking to hire six people right now. And it's our, still our goal to, to have everybody on board in October. So we're hoping for zero vacancies in October as we get ready to start that 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 next academy. Is this grant also kind of an initiative to help combat that? I think it's it's just based on more and more people moving to Tyler, the growth associated with it, the development going on, and all the investment downtown is really the what's pushing this grant. And can you elaborate more on that 25% minimum cost required for the city? What does yeah. that mean? Every year, mm -hmm. the, based on the ratios of the grant that are put forward, oh. the city has to pay for 25% of, of, of the actual salaries and everything. And as you go through the three-year cycle, it becomes a little bit more, but the maximum the city can recoup is $250,000 for the two officers. After that, we'll, we'll absorb them into our department and we'll fully pay the cost of them. Okay, and uh, when will you guys hear back if you have received it once you applied. <laughs> so usually, usually it's a pretty quick turnaround. Probably yeah. probably when you get into July, August, we should know that if it was approved or not, and then we'd be ready to move forward with the hiring process and the training process. Okay, and, and the people you are applying to is, well, who are they called? The cops? No, no it's, it's community order and policing. Yeah. It's, it's, that's the, it's the federal program associated with COPS hiring grant. Got it. And it's yes, just okay. through the DOJ. Got it, that's the official title. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir, all right, anything else? I think that's it. We look, we, we yeah. appreciate, appreciate the support of the city and the, and the council as we get ready to, to apply for this and, and take the opportunity to expand the department. Yes, sir, actually I had another question. How okay. excited are you for this to kind of expand your, uh, your uh, department and have this? Oh, it, it is exciting. You know, as we go from possibly 202 to 204, as we get ready to meet the needs of the city, it's gonna require more officers to be able to, to, to answer the, the problems of the community. And I think uh, as, as this city grows, we want to grow with it.